Hello and welcome to another episode. My name is Manny and this is Grabany. Today I'll be showing you how to make a delicious breakfast porridge made from tiger nut flour. Let's get started. We're going to start by adding one cup of tiger nut flour to a large bowl. Then we're going to add one cup of cold water. If you end up enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. Next, we're going to whisk it all to combine and we're going to get rid of all lumps in the process. If it gets too thick, feel free to add a touch of water. I'm quite sure some of you are curious and wondering how I made my tiger nut flour. Let me show you. The first step is to convert your dry tiger nuts into fresh tiger nuts, as much as you need. Depending on where you get them, tiger nuts could be covered in dust and debris, so you may have to wash them thoroughly. The next step is to soak them in hot water for a couple of hours, maybe even overnight. Once soaked, drain and rinse them, add them to a powerful blender, add some water and blend. Once blended, pass it through a nut milk strainer to extract the milk. Once you've extracted the milk, you'll be left with the pulp. This right here is what you need. Add your tiger nut pulp or shaft to a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Use the tip of your fingers to break the lumps apart, then spread it out evenly. Now we're going to let it dry for about 3 to 4 days under the sun if possible. Here you go, our tiger nut pulp is all dried up. Next, you're going to add as much as you need into a very powerful blender, then blend. If you do have a flour meal at home, please go ahead and use it. If you don't, go ahead and use your blender. Don't worry, it won't damage it. The milk from tiger nuts is delicious, but the flour from tiger nuts is equally as delicious, but it's also gluten free. You can also buy this online or at the store. I'll leave a link below. Back to the porridge, place the saucepan on high heat, then add one and a half cups of water. Once the water comes to a rolling boil, add your tiger nut batter. Reduce your heat to medium heat, then whisk it thoroughly. Once you're done whisking, you can add any sweetener of your choice. I'm using one and a half tablespoons of date sugar. Next, I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon. This will add a floral and lightly sweet flavor. I also like to add about a quarter teaspoon of organic vanilla extract. Now we're going to give it a really good whisk for about 30 seconds to a minute for it to fully combine. Turn down the heat to medium low heat and let it cook for about 10 minutes while whisking frequently. After about 10 minutes, your porridge should thicken up even more. That's a sign that it's done. You've worked hard. It's time to reward yourself with a nice hot bowl. do this before or after but I like to add about half a cup of coconut milk to my porridge. Coconut milk will add some much needed good fat to this high fiber porridge. To take this meal to the next level we're going to add about one to two tablespoons of raw hemp hearts. Since tiger nuts are low in protein adding hemp hearts will make up for the missing protein. At this point you can garnish with all of the berries and fruits you desire. I'm going with some blueberries because they're about to go bad. Finally, I'm going to slice and add some strawberries, not only because they taste good, but also because they're about to go bad. If you're looking for a high fiber and purely gluten free breakfast, this is the meal for you. It's highly nutritious and also very versatile in the sense that you could substitute the milk for almost any plant based milk such as walnut milk, tiger nut milk, cashew milk or hemp milk. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all next week.